all her points came off, I'm just going to have to go play because they're not finding me. But I'm finding them. She's such an unselfish person on such a selfish team. Too much pride, too many damn egos, people thinking that this was a great product and that they are the reasons why it was good. They cannot for the life of them get out of their own way and see that this girl is trying to help them. She wants to help them. She didn't have to go there. They offered her five million to go play in a big three. She didn't have to be there. She can go play overseas and get better treatment than this shit. She can go to Canada. I heard that she was fucking part Canada. Canada then. Canadian. Guys, I ain't stupid. <laughs> thing is working yo 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 what up it's your boy chocolate with the sexy body welcome to a new episode of chocolate plays yo we back with some reaction for that girl kayla clark and there's a bunch of things that happened yesterday look yesterday wasn't real yesterday could not have been real with all the things that i saw yesterday did y'all see the presidential debate listen i'm going to get to caitlin also to this lebron james shit that i told y'all i told y'all that's what lebron james is doing but we gonna go to this presidential debate did y'all see that shit i'm scared guys I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. And look, I know that there are a lot of supporters out there for Biden and a lot of supporters out there for Trump. And I know exactly why people support Trump, guys, from all different perspectives. Let me tell you, there are some people out there in the world who definitely want to say whatever the hell they want to say. They, they do. That's why y'all like me. Y'all like me because I say what I want to say and I keep it real. I'm honest. And that's what a lot of people see with Trump because he says what the hell he wants to say. The shit is funny and a lot of people appeal to that. Also, he appeals to the person with money. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to pay taxes either. I wish I was up there in the upper echelon of people making all this damn money so I didn't have to pay no taxes. You know damn well you don't want to pay taxes. You know you don't want to pay taxes. It's a lot of things that a lot of us don't want to do and we do not agree with Donald Trump. <laughs> But there are a lot of th some things that people do, and I'm giving you every perspective from the person who don't want to pay taxes to the person who says whatever the hell they want to say, right? And the persons who want to do whatever they want to do. Now, that's them people over there, the ones that broke into the, the Congress bill. That's them. We ain't talking about them. We talk about the sensible people, guys. I'm, I'm being for real because there's a lot. I know a lot of people personally who, who vote for Trump. That's black. And I'm going to tell you why one of, one of them was like, dude, I got back $400,000 in taxes. What? You got back what? You see what I'm saying? People, listen. I believe in God. And I just want somebody who's going to take care of us as a country. Because God, don't get right now, boy. I don't, when I tell you, I don't know. I don't know. It's very scary out there. Inflation is kicking so many people's behinds. That is terrible. That damn inflation shit, man, just because as soon as y'all want to raise everybody's minimum wage, y'all going to hike up all the prices on everything around this bitch, too. People can't afford this shit. They can't afford to live. They can't afford to live, guys. Something has to change. We can't be having these haves and have nots. I'm going to tell you something. Them have nots go get to the point to where they want to have and they go do anything to get it. We lucky right now that the homeless people out there in the streets is just being homeless and, and begging for money. Because what if all of a sudden these motherfuckers just go, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. I'm finna start taking this shit. It's a lot of homeless people out there, guys. A lot. I think it's like half a million homeless people out there in the world. We don't want them to start tearing up shit. <laughs> we don't want them to start robbing us. Because that's a possibility. So the, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Something's got to change. Something's got to give. Right? Because I told y'all. I like to do this because it's something positive for everybody i like to see cc play basketball right and i wish i was seeing cc play basketball because what the hell i'm seeing over there with them damn fever oh my god listen i was gonna keep on going about that damn trump stuff but i can't because of the caitlin stuff that i need to talk about did y'all see the game yesterday what the hell happened what the hell happened? I told y'all, I cannot believe in this coach for that team. That team is pretty good. Not the best, but it's pretty good. And it's better than what the hell we saw yesterday. That shit was terrible. You mean to tell me, Coach Sides, that you got rid of Celeste Taylor, one of the, the defensive player of the year in college, and you kept Wheeler and Mitchell's asses? I know you got to pay him a lot of money, but did you see the game that Mitchell played yesterday? The shit was terrible. It was terrible. But th and did you see Wheeler? Wheeler was five for eight shooting. Y'all want to know what Caitlin was? She was four for nine shooting. She only shot the ball nine times. Nine times. Six rebounds, seven assists, 15 points. 
Guess what? Wheeler had 15 points too. What the hell's going on? What, the, what, is, what is happening? Right? Why is Wheeler shooting the ball so many times? Why is Mitchell getting her ass cooked? Now, that's one thing that I can give Wheeler. Because Wheeler, I think she was the only plus. She was the only person in the plus minus plus for that team. She was a plus nine. Plus nine. Kaylee was a minus seven. We understand. And I'm going to tell you why I understand. I'm telling y'all because it was actually working when Caitlin and Wheeler were in the lineup together. I told y'all, you cannot put Wheeler and Mitchell in the lineup together. That shit is a recipe for disaster. And they did it anyway. They keep doing it. Y'all got to listen. Y'all got to share this video. Share these videos so they can get to Coach Side's ass. Because if she don't want to coach this team the right way, damn it, we will. We will. This is pathetic. Pathetic. Wallace had a nothing burger. She had zero down points. Zero points in 18 damn minutes. What the hell were you out there for? Two rebounds, two assists. Get her ass out of here. She was zero everywhere else. Zero. And y'all got rid of Celeste Taylor, the defensive player of the year. This I almost called Coach Sides a bitch. But, but this lady, <laughs> this lady preaches that she wants to play better defense. We're going to play better defense. We're going to do this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know how she talks. She, oh, guys. Yeah, we're trying to stress that we're going to go out there and play a better, better defensive effort with all of our guys. Uh, we want to make sure that we, we're moving the ball in good rotation and then we're stopping it at the top. Bitch, I don't want to hear none of that shit no more. That shit sounds stupid. She sounds like she smoked a pack of Newport shorts every other hour. That's what she sounds like. This Are you stressed the fuck out, lady? Because it shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard. I, what you, I know you ain't screaming. Who you screaming at? Probably Kaylin to tell her to go get her ass in the corner. Kaylin, go get in the corner and let Wheeler do her thing. Her and Mitchell. That shit is not working. I know y'all seen when Kaylin, she just stepped it up. When she split the defense and she went in for a layup. That's no, 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 no. I'm sorry. When she split the defense and she went in for the floater, that shit was nice. It was nice. The two three points that she hit, the well, three I believe that she hit, her finding those shots. Her finding them. She played better defense. They was out there getting cooked. Look, Mitchell's ass was minus 24 on defense. Minus 24 when she's in the damn game. Jewel Lloyd cooked her ass. Cooked her. She, you know, she went over to her. She flipped her up, patted it all real good, and put all the goddamn special herbs and spices on that bitch and was doing all that, rubbing it all in, getting the salt, putting it on it because you got to make sure you get the salt. And she put the oven to 400 degrees. It stuck her ass up in there. She just waited. She just waited. Look, she let that bitch burn. She let the meat burn because she cooked her ass to death. Ooh, Mitchell. You can't say shit. Mitchell was out of control. And guess what happened? Went back into that stupid ass hero ball play. Back into the hero ball play just like what happened with them with the, the um, what's their names? Uh, the Sky. The same thing that happened to the, with, with the Sky. They put them into a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. One-on-one. -on -one. They, they, look. These guys are coming up with the game plan to beat the fever. I can tell you how you can beat them because all those girls are so damn emotional. I told you, they, they rattle easily. Pick with them. Push them around because they don't know how to fight back. They try to fight back with they play, and they ain't that damn good. They get out of control. You rattle their cage, and then what happens? They, they, they dissolve, and they are no longer cohesive and playing as a unit. And that's what you saw out there. You saw a bunch of people out there playing one-on-one -on -one basketball again. One on one, Kaylin was literally looking for all of them to get involved in the play. Kaylin's trying to go run off of screens that they not setting for her. They're not setting shit for. She's just running. Y'all, y'all watch Steph Curry play, right? Y'all see how many screens that Draymond set for him and Clay set for him and Wiggins, all them screens that they set for him trying to get them open. They don't do that shit over there. They step like they step to the side and they move real back. It's like they don't want to get hit. You prissy as fuck. I thought y'all was aggressive. I thought y'all was just so so tough and all this other shit that the league was. Why the hell y'all not holding y'all damn picks over there? It's just that damn team. And the coaching is fucking terrible. Something has to happen, guys. So, something got to happen. I'm, I'm serious. So we, somebody to go down there and pick it. Get this bitch up out of there, please. Something has to happen because we are tired of it. I'm tired of it. I know Kaylin's tired of it. I just keep saying she going to have to switch to, to, to the Mamba mentality. She's going to have to find her own, though. Whatever she was when she was in college. Look, 
for, for the most part, she is doing what Coach Sides tells her to do. I'm telling y'all. Because I looked at this girl play in college, and it does not look the same in the WNBA. Coach Sides is telling her. She's, she's suppressing her. She's not letting her be her. And I'm telling you, Kaylin, but, but Kaylin's really, really nice. She's a nice girl. And I don't know if she'll do this because she was just so used to having a coach just say, hey, go and do it because they believed in her. This coach over here, though, Coach Sides, she won't take all the credit for all this shit that happens. If when they win, it's her. She won. When they lose, it's them. Go listen to the press conferences. Oh, you know, we wouldn't just, you know, they wouldn't get back on the ball. Like, there was this, this. What you talking about? Why the hell didn't y'all double team Jewel Lloyd like they kept double teaming Kaitlyn? Hell, I seen one time they put a triple team on Kaitlyn. Triple team. As much as she was going off, nobody had an answer for her. Nobody tried to. I, it didn't make no damn sense. They even poked the ass in the eye trying to get out the game. Lexi did. <laughs> she came back with a black eye and tore their ass up. And I don't like this, right? I don't like this because if you watch the game, you will see that Kaylin's not playing like Kaylin, so we can't blame her for none of this shit. None of this shit. They can't catch out there. That's why goddamn Wheeler got a jammed finger. She's trying to pass the ball. Her ass can't catch. I'm telling you guys, for people out there, because I don't hate anybody, guys. I don't hate anyone. I love everybody. Y'all got to know it. If y'all ever, y'all send me comments in the comment thing, I answer all of y'all. And I'm positive on everyone because that's how I feel. That's how I am. And for you guys who haven't, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, put it in the comment section. Like I asked before, like where y'all from? If y'all haven't, tell me where y'all from and where y'all watching and how y'all find me. Could you do that for your boy? But I, I don't hate anybody. I want these women to succeed. I'm telling y'all. Because it's high time for everybody. Like, that's what real equality is. They want to talk about equality because of the, the, the equity, you know what I'm saying, and the racial standards. I'm talking about as far as people, about guys. We are men and women. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? No, I don't see you guys getting equal pay to the, the people in the NBA because that's a billion-dollar operation. Now, if you guys were a billion-dollar operation and y'all was getting paid the nickels and dimes y'all getting right now, hell yeah, it's time to, it's time to fight. Like, no, it's time to fight with fist. What the hell? Y'all not paying us? This don't make no damn sense. But until then, y'all can't complain about this shit. Kaitlyn's bringing some of that shit in right now. They had another sellout game. Every game that the Storm have played the Fever has been a sellout game. Sellout. In fact, I think that all the games that the Fever are playing, they're sellouts. And they're not bringing it up. I don't, for the life of me, I don't know why. I don't know why they keep talking about everybody else's accolades, but they're not talking about Kaitlyn's. Right now, Angel Reese is on a nine-game uh, streak for double-doubles. First time been done by a rookie like this, right? But Kaylin over there, first time being done by a rookie, she didn't broke, uh, not first time, but she didn't broke um, Dana Tarasi's record for most points and assists, right, as a rookie. Averaging, right? She also broke the 100 points, 100 rebounds, and 100 assists barrier. Faster than any other rookie in the WNBA. I'm not saying that she's great and that she's the best and all this other shit, right? What I'm telling y'all is that this is a woman that is marketable and that y'all should get behind because she is driving the car. They gave her the key. She's driving it. It's just that the car want to act like a hoe. The car don't, don't want to start. Y'all got to make this work for y'all guys. Because people are watching and people are talking about it. And it ain't because of none of the shit y'all did two years ago. It ain't because of none of the shit y'all did 23 years ago. It's because of everything that's happening right now. And this is y'all opportunity to get out in front of all that talk that they put on y'all. Saying that the WNBA ain't nothing. Saying that you guys product is trash. Saying that y'all are trash people. Saying that y'all just so aggressive and have all these attitudes. And y'all can't be told nothing. Because this is what people are starting to see who wasn't watching WNBA, who was just watching Kaylin, because that's why they're getting frustrated. They're like, wait a minute. When Kaylin was at college, we didn't have any, none of this stuff to worry about. Where's all this hate coming from from a person that nobody should be hating? The hell did I hate her for? You know what? That's just like hating me. Why would you hate me? Think about it. Why would you hate me? I ain't. I don't say bad, but nothing bad about anybody except for um, Wheeler and Mitchell and Coach Sides. <laughs> And we all do, because they got to go, they trash. And that's what it is. Come on, guys. Just It wasn't real. Yesterday wasn't real. It, it couldn't have been. 
It couldn't have been. Why, why in the hell, Coach Sides, didn't you call a timeout when the girls was up eight to six? People were up. Hey, that's, that's the last time they was in the league, too. Eight to six. They capped off three straight possessions, three straight scores. You didn't call a timeout. I thought for the life of me you was going to call a timeout. That shit went up fast from 8-6 to 8-13. I thought you were going to call a timeout. Nope. Guess what happened? They come down court, try to run a damn play to, 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 to uh, what's it, Boston. And I don't know what the hell she was up in there doing. I don't understand why y'all didn't realize that y'all could have beat their ass in the paint. Y'all out-rebound them 40 rebounds. I think it was like 40 to 23. That's some ridiculous numbers. But you know what? Y'all had 18 turnovers, though. Y'all were just all over the place out there. All over the place. And you're going to continue to be all over the place until Coach Sides gives this team to Caitlin. You are the PG. Because it ain't Mitchell who had zero assists. <laughs> At least she had two rebounds. Five for ten shooting. She's just shooting. That's all. She, she's just running around shooting. Did y'all see her just running around like a damn... Energizer Bunny, she ran under the glass and then came right back. And then she did, a, I mean, she scored the layer, but I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Who called that play? You calling your own plays. It's, it's crazy. I'm telling y'all, Caitlin out there with the Mamba shoes, it's, she got to turn into the white Mamba. And I hope that they follow. Because when she was like, fuck it, I know y'all saw it. Her two threes came off of hers, or well, three threes, I believe. Yeah, all three of her three-pointers came off of her just saying, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to have to go play. All her points came off, I'm just going to have to go play because they're not finding me. But I'm finding them. She's such an unselfish person on such a selfish team. Too much pride, too many damn egos. People thinking that this was a great product and that they are the reasons why it was good. If they cannot for the life of them get out of their own way and see that this girl is trying to help them. She wants to help them. She didn't have to go there. They offered her five million to go play in a big three. She didn't have to be there. She can go play overseas and get better treatment than this shit. She can go to Canada. I heard that she was fucking part Canada. Canada then. Canadian. Guys, I ain't stupid. <laughs> well, she's part Canadian. So she doing y'all a favor. And y'all pissing all over. This shit sucks. Kaylin, I'm sorry. I apologize that they doing this shit to you. But I guess this is America, right? I guess it's America. Y'all saw that shit yesterday. I, I was so afraid the damn Biden couldn't even get his words out correctly. I, I swear he got Alzheimer's. We want an Alzheimer's motherfucker to be running our country. This is what we want. Ain't he like 95 years old? He's, ain't he 95? He, did did y'all see him yesterday? It was so scary. Have y'all ever seen that movie Fire in the Sky? The, the movie where the, where the guy get abducted by the aliens? He looked like those aliens in that movie. <laughs> That's what he looked like. It's so scary. And how the hell does Trump still look like he look with all this shit that's going on against him? He got so many damn lawsuits and shit. He all in and out the damn Supreme Court. Oh, my God. And he still look like he's unfazed. That's why they call him the Teflon Don. He don't give a damn. This bullet is bouncing off of him. He meant that shit when he said he could walk out in the middle of the street and kill somebody and nobody would do nothing. Nothing would happen to him. He meant it. He probably would. <laughs> he probably stand. I was stand. I was standing my ground. That's what I was doing, standing my ground. You guys saw it. He came at me. That's what he'll say. <laughs> That's what the hell he'll say. <laughs> Yo, and LeBron James, guys. Y'all can say whatever the hell y'all want. They talk about some damn nepotism shit going on. I ain't never heard that word before in my life, and now here it is, nepotism. Y'all want to say nepotism because a, a black man is getting his black son a job. This is what the hell I see. Bravo, LeBron James, because I told y'all, I, I got to be positive about this. This man was able to get his son into the NBA after having the damn season he had over there at USC. Bravo. That motherfucker averaged five points. Five points. Like two assists to three rebounds. This was terrible. Y'all know damn well. No, and he got drafted. They drafted this shit. I know that there aren't players out there this in this year's draft. I know this was one of the shittiest drafts ever. But damn it, there's no way in hell that y'all draft the motherfucker that averaged five points. I know that was somebody else out there that averaged 23. I know for damn sure it was. You know how I know it was? Because the mother the dude from NC State, the big black dude, you know what I'm saying? His ass. He didn't get picked. He got picked up as a free agent. What kind of shit is that? And I know damn, I know he had way better stats than Le Le LeBron James' son. So this is the shit I'm talking about. We got to look at all angles, guys. We got to be positive. But I got to go to this, too. LeBron James did that shit. 
he did that shit. I, is, is this, I, I promise there has to be some type of tampering going on with this shit. It has to be. Because he did it. This boy, y'all can't say shit about him. Him and LeVar Ball, they, they, they do what they say they're going to do, guys. This is what y'all see. Y'all thought he was crazy. Just like y'all thought uh, uh, Kanye was crazy. When Kanye was like, man... I want to run. For, I'm gonna run for president, right? Yay, 2024 with a 2020. You remember me saying that shit? Now he knew he wasn't gonna win, but his ass showed he get out there and run for it. He, y'all can't say he, that man really ran for president, and I, I believe he got some votes. He raised money for campaigns. He went out there and did that shit. He does what he says he's gonna do. LeBron James told y'all asses earlier in the year. He wants to play with his son. He's done trying to chase rings. He didn't care about that shit anymore. He wants to get his son into the NBA. That is a, a, a that is a man's dream, guys. Y'all are seeing right now what it is to, to really be a man and help and provide. He got his son in there by all means. I don't got no fucking problem with it. Bravo. I know you out there, the father, would love to get your son a job. Love to get him a job. Wouldn't you? You would love to be able to provide. And guess what he did? He provided for him in his business. That's LeBron's team. I guarantee, watch this. Y'all heard it here. I don't know if it's first, but you'll hear here first. LeBron is going to be a part owner of the Lakers. Trust and believe that. J.J. Redick is going to end up being coach of the year because of what LeBron and everybody else is going to do. If Anthony Davis can stay healthy, oh my God. And I told y'all, they're going to make a blockbuster trade. They're going to get a blockbuster pickup over there, guys. Please believe me because the nostalgia is back in the world. People want to see what they saw before. The Celtics are leading with 18 championships. You, do, you don't think that they're going to try to write this story to get them their 18 championship over there too so they can keep these storylines going? Guys, this is about money. They don't give a damn about y'all feelings and how y'all go out there and react when these people win and lose games. They don't care about that. They care about the money that they're going to make. LeBron knows that. That's why he's a billionaire in the NBA. Name me another one. Name me another one. You can't. It ain't possible. That man that made this shit happen for his family and you can't hate him. You can't hate him. I would love, love, right, to get my son into the business that I am creating. Love to come out here and do public speaking and get on here and do commentary and shit like that, right? And get out there and go deliver counseling and coaching. Him walk into this business that we're creating. That's what LeBron did over there. LeBron know what the hell he's doing. Y'all think that JJ not going to succeed with a LeBron James? All they got to do is get past Denver. They got to go get shooters. They just got a shooter in the draft. I need y'all all playing together. I don't need y'all to be on social media. I don't need y'all to be watching the news. I need y'all to all come live together like, like, like remember the Titan style. Remember the Titans. I need y'all to all come together because they can get it done. This would be the greatest thing that anybody has ever seen, a father and son duo on a back. Do y'all understand? That's why I said, I said yesterday could, it, it's not real. Yesterday wasn't real. This man... Is playing in the NBA with his son. How is that possible? How is that possible, guys? He should be old and gone. Y'all got to give this man a title of the greatest of all time right now. Of being a father. Being this, this person. Just being him. He's the greatest at this shit. You hate all you want. I'm telling you, you want your kids to succeed. Ain't they what the hell they doing? Isn't that what that, aren't they succeeding? Oh, aren't they succeeding? This is what people want, guys. And this is what he went out there and did. But don't we want Kayla to succeed? Yeah, we do. We want Kayla to succeed. And in order for us to succeed, she had to get a better coach. And somebody just go let her play. Hell, it could even be coach size. It just let her go out there and play. Yesterday was very unreal, guys. They started coming back. I don't know why they didn't have Samuelson in the game. Lexi out there not performing. All these people are underperforming, and you didn't give Celeste Taylor, defensive player of the year, a chance. When you said you wanted defense on the team, you cut her. And you left Mitchell out there who got her ass cooked by Jewel Lloyd. 34 points. Jewel Lloyd, oh my God. I told y'all in the first video, that I, one of the first videos I did, that Jewel Lloyd was a walking bucket. Y'all don't say shit about her when you're talking about the, the Olympic team. Her and Asia Wilson. I don't want, they names should never come up and who should not be on this damn team. Them, specifically. Because Asia went off last night to drop 30 on the sky. Beat they ass. <laughs> they tried to do that, fuck, that, they tried to play, make them go into a one-on-one -on -one game. It didn't work with them. That's what happens in the WNBA. People try to isolate because you got some really good players out there who can score. Think about it, guys. 
If you are a woman's basketball player and you hoop like a dude, you'll go out there and beat them girls' asses. Asia hoop like a dude. That's why when I watch her play, she tall and sexy too. When I watch her play, right, I'm like, she, I know, no offense, because even, even I heard Cameron says this, and I was telling my partners this, and I'm going to tell y'all why I was saying this. I was like, yo, she, she play like a dude. Like for real, how, how, her flow, how, 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 how silky she is on a jump shot. She can shoot with the left. She got step back. She got post moves. And they all look like the guy basketball players. And I'm not, just, I'm, I'm, I'm not being offensive. I'm saying, look at how smooth it looks. It looks like professional basketball. Same thing with Jewel Lloyd. Same thing with, um, what's Kelsey Plum, how she moved with the ball, which out there dribbling. Damn, she out there moving fast as hell. Y'all see her? That shit is incredible, guys. It's incredible. They are there. And that's why they be beating the hell out of these girls because the other girls up in that shit are nowhere near what they are. Now, imagine those girls who are nowhere near what they are and put them on a team with you. And that's what you got Kaylin going through. Kaylin and Boston can hoop. Mitchell can hoop too. Eh, uh, what's the girl? Uh, Wheeler. Eh, you know what I'm saying? She can hoop. But they are out of control. And they want to continue to have this be their team because that's what it was before Kaylin came in. Wheeler, Mitchell, and Boston was on his team together. Terrible damn record. I told y'all, 13 and 27. Coach sides with they coach. They believe that, okay, we can get this shit together this year, man. We can make it happen. Let's do the same thing, guys, but just better this time. That's stupid. There's no such thing. Y'all got Kalen, and that's the thing that makes y'all better. Guys, 26 minutes I went into this video. I'm sorry for doing this. I hope that y'all can make it all the way through. Valuable tools in this thing. Valuable tools in this thing. I forgot even what I wanted to say uh, for y'all if y'all made it to the end of this thing. Um, uh, let's um ride on the magic school bus. Y'all remember that cartoon? <laughs> the magic school bus with Miss Driscoll. <laughs> it was, what was her name, man? She was always like, man, make let's go make mistakes. That shit is real. Let's go make mistakes. Make them better. But Coach Sides, you better stop making damn mistakes in this game because I'm tired of it. Nobody wants to see this shit anymore. Nobody wants to. And I told y'all LeBron was going to get Brown, go, go get JJ that job and bring Brown into the Lakers. He did it. That man did it. He going to take less money so they can go get some role players. I'm telling y'all what's going to happen. And the same thing going to happen with Dion when he go to the NFL with his sons. Y'all, look, thank y'all for rocking with me. You, like I said, make it to the end of this video. Ride on the man. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say, um, um, I was just calling a check on your um, expired car insurance. I don't like that. We just we just go stick with the ride on the magic school bus. Guys, y'all take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop part of Chocolate. Y'all go become a part of Chocolate crew, man. Thank y'all for all the support. Everybody out there rocking with me. I got some people that's 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 really putting this to work with me, man. Yo, you guys, man. You guys. Yeah. <laughs> The ladies is doing their thing, man. They and they they like the support for the game, so I like to support it. Like I told y'all, I got women in my family. I'm married to a woman, and I want to see y'all succeed. And this is a a starting point. You guys, take care. Peace.